do not try any of the experiments you are about to see at home. You heard him. Don't do it. On this episode of Mythbusters. <laughs> oh, God, it looks like a murder scene here. Adam and Jamie take on two common cold conundrums. You'll get cleaned up. First, they test their limits, finding out if you sneeze at 100 miles per hour. Whoa, that is nasty. And over 30 feet. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> then they investigate if someone else's runny nose. That's funny. Will eventually catch up to you. So what do you think? Are we ever going to run out of myths? No way, dude. We are still finding great material from the most common sources imaginable. Like what? The common cold, specifically the sneeze, which supposedly leaves your mouth at 100 miles an hour and can travel up to 30 feet spreading your germs. I think both of those are claims we could put to the test. And sneezing's not the only thing you have to worry about. I mean, if you've got a cold, you touch your face, then you touch something else, and before you know it, you got nasal secretions all over the place. Meaning you could supposedly catch a cold from someone without having any physical contact with them whatsoever. Common cold myths. Let's do it. Okay. Hatchoo! That's two feverish fables to tackle. First up, the physics of a sneeze. Does snot really rocket at speeds of 100 miles per hour and spread disease over 30 feet? Let's start with the sneeze. How do you want to tackle it? That one's pretty straightforward to me. I mean, a sneeze is supposed to travel at 100 miles an hour. Let's test it by firing up the high-speed camera and using a little math. What about distance? Distance is a little tougher. I mean, we're going to have to be tracking what have to be freaking tiny droplets of liquid up to 30 feet away. I've got some ideas about that. You worry about inducing a sneeze, and I'll worry about measuring it. Fair enough. All right. According to public safety announcements through the ages, the power of the sneeze is potent. Remember, sneezes can travel at over 100 miles per hour and spread contagion over 30 feet. But are those formidable figures really true? To find out, first they'll clock the speed of a sneeze on a high-speed camera and then track its distance. So for that, Adam creates a sneeze shooting range. Oh, hey, check it out. Wow, I think that's the biggest and fanciest gauge we've made. Yep, well, 30 feet, supposed distance that a sneeze can travel. Looks like it ought to be up to snuff. <laughs> and speaking of snuff, Adam's got just the stuff. How are we going to sneeze? Well, if you remember the sneezing with your eyes open episode, it's actually caused us some real difficulty. However, we have found a foolproof method for this episode, and that is tobacco snuff. The snuff will work to irritate the mucosa at the back of Adam's nose, which will bring on a semi-autonomous convulsive expulsion of air from the lungs through the nose and mouth. Hatsu! Or a sneeze. Uh, a little snuff for science. <laughs> For good measure. Woo! Achoo! Whoa, that is nasty. Nasty. And captured by the high speed camera at a stomach churning 3,000 frames per second. And that stuff's made to snort, huh? It is. I have no idea why anyone would do it recreationally. Well, let's see how fast it went. Okay. <laughs> By counting the number of frames it takes a snot droplet to travel one foot, they work out the speed of Adam's sneeze. Oh, wow. You know what? Watching it go backwards is really pretty sickening. Okay. 51 feet per second times 0.68 equals 35 miles per hour. That's not 100 miles an hour. That's nowhere close to 100 miles an hour. I should have a go. All right. Watch for the stash. 35 miles per hour is certainly not the mythical 100. So, Jamie steps up. <laughs> Once again, the snuff squeezes a sneeze, but will it be faster? Oh, look at that stash. Like Indiana farmland in the breeze, isn't it? Getting quite poetic here, aren't you? <laughs> well, the subject matter, 57 
feet per second. Close. 0.68 equals 39 miles per hour. Still nowhere near 100, huh? No. You busted out. You beat me in the speed department, but uh, it's nowhere close to the mint. Well, apparently, I sneeze at 35 miles per hour, and the Heinemann sneezes at 39 miles per hour. Neither of those is remotely close to 100 miles an hour, so that myth, I think, is pretty busted. Now we're on to distance. Does the sneeze really travel 30 feet? And I think Mr. Heinemann already has some ideas about how to track that. When Adam sneezes, we need to see how far the stuff that comes out of his nose travels. And so to do that, I'm going to add this uh, cherry-flavored red kid's drink mix to the snuff that he inhales and when he sneezes hopefully we'll see little red dots on this lovely strip of white paper this time adam's sneeze should leave a telltale trail of cherry colored tracks oh oh it's irritating and sweet and fruity <coughs> oh it's happening Gesundheit. And now to check the distance. I don't see any red flex. Unfortunately, Adam's fruity sneeze hasn't left a mark. But as always, there's a solution. We have a new plan. The new plan is rather than snort any more colored things, I'm going to go back to the snuff. But just before I sneeze, I'm going to spray some uncut food dye into my mouth. Yeah, that ought to show up. Adam takes a snort of snuff and a swig of food coloring. Oh, God, it looks like a murder scene here. Ah. That time around, the sneeze went quite literally with flying colors. <laughs> ah. We got one out here at 17 feet. It's not bad. No, you're halfway there, over halfway. But I think that's about it. You think that's about it? Yeah. I think I need to then try again. We're making modern art, <laughs> as well as some science. Adam can't leave it at 17 feet. He's going for a second distance attempt, but this time in a less gory blue. Ooh, ooh. Nice. You're getting a good spread, but uh, you need to work on your distance. <laughs> okay, coach. Well, I'm clearly hitting a hard line at 17 feet. You want to see if you can do better? With Adam not even reaching 60% of the mythical distance, Jamie's next up for the sneeze gallery, and he'll be sneezing in green. <laughs> I think that's all I got. All right, maybe when you go get cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Captain Greenbeard's sneeze also didn't go the distance. And you can't help thinking it has something to do with his mustache. Nope, looks like Jamie maxed out right here at 13 feet. I got 13 feet of travel out of my sneeze, and Adam got 17 feet. It's not 30, but it's an awful long ways. So where does that leave the mythical sneeze? The myth says that a sneeze could travel up to 30 feet, and our sneezes didn't get anywhere close to that. They got to 17 feet and stopped. It's still pretty far, but I guess that means... It's busted. Yeah.